Hello everybody, it's Coach Daniel speaking, and I'm welcoming all of our newcomers, newbie English speakers, on our emotional English podcast, where we are learning an English language by listening emotional stories. This is our second episode, where we are facing a business English topic with a nice character, and that character's guy name is Zimba, and uh, this guy is a male kangaroo, okay? It's an animal from Australia. And like previous time, while I'm asking you a question, you need to answer me ASAP, fast and shortly, fulfilled with energy, emotionally. It doesn't matter where you're right now, running, jogging, working, or wandering somewhere on the street, I want you to answer my questions immediately. Don't translate the words to your native language in your mind. It's just answer mock questions fast and emotionally. And uh, the story for today called From the Grassroots. It's a business topic and I hope you guys will like it. Let's begin. First of all, I will read the whole story. You just need to listen, right? Listen to it and then I will start another reading and then questioning. So... Let's start from the full story reading. There is an animal, and animal's name is Zimba. Zimba is a kangaroo. He's 22 years old, and he's a kangaroo, like I said before. Zimba can no longer wait for someone to create a job for him. It is hard to find a job. I cannot sit and do nothing, he said. I can't wait. I have to eat. I have brothers to support. I have a family to feed. Zimba yelled heatedly. He and other Australian kangaroos like him are finding ways to create their own opportunities. Zimba started up his own company in Brisbane last year, but he found it difficult to find the initial funding. You go to the bank, you have a great brilliant idea, They say they want collateral. And what do you have? You have nothing, proclaimed Zimba. You have to begin from the grassroots. So this is the end of my mini-story. And now I will read a little extracts from the mini-story. And then I will ask you a lot of questions. And that's how you're going to learn new vocabulary and revise your English. Let's begin. There is an animal... An animal's name is Zimba. Zimba is a kangaroo. He's 22 years old kangaroo. Zimba can no longer wait for someone to create a job for him. So, my first question to you. Is there is an animal or a human? Of course, an animal, not a human. Kangaroo is an animal. What is the animal's name? Its name, Zimba. It's a male kangaroo, okay? Can you imagine it now? Big, nice, orange kangaroo from Australia. And kangaroo's name is Zimba. It's he. He's 22 years old. Is Zimba a male kangaroo or a female kangaroo? He's a male. Boy, right? Men, right? It's a male Zimba is a male kangaroo. So how old is Zimba? Is he 22 years old or he's 35 years old? Yeah, he's 22, not 35, right? So does Zimba have a job? No, no, he doesn't. Who doesn't have a job? Zimba, right? And who is Zimba? A female kangaroo. Just kidding. He's a male. Male kangaroo. So, the next part. It is hard to find a job. I cannot sit and do nothing, said Zimba. I can't wait. I have to eat. I have brothers to support. I have a family to feed. Zimba yelled heatedly. So, is it easy to find a job for Zimba? No, no, it's complicated. It's very hard for him. Not easy to find a job for Zimba. So, is Zimba can sit and do nothing or he can't? 
He can't. Zimba can't sit and do nothing. So why? Why Zimba can't sit and do nothing? Ah, he has to eat. He has to feed his family. He has to support his family with food, right? So who need to feed his family? Zimba, the kangaroo, male kangaroo. So does Zimba have a lot of food? No, he doesn't. He need a job to buy food. Buy food for himself, for his family, for his brothers and maybe sisters. Who knows? So Zimba has no job. He's unemployed kangaroo. Unemployed means without a job. So who is unemployed? Is Vladimir Putin unemployed? No, he has a job, right? He's a president of Russia. And what about Zimba? Zimba is unemployed. He has no job. So did Zimba yell? I can't wait. I have to eat. I have brothers to support. I have a family to feed. Or did he proclaim it? Remember, what is the difference between proclaim and yell? He yelled. Yell means use a high tone of your voice to say something very, very loudly. Everybody can see it or no, hear it, not see. So, he proclaimed. No, he's not proclaimed. He yelled. And he yelled, I can't wait. I have to eat. I have brothers to support. I have a family to feed. He yelled it. Proclaiming, it's just, you know, you're just saying it very, very consciously and confidently. All right? And here he was yelling. So, the next story. Next story part of it. He and other Australian kangaroos like him are finding ways to create their own opportunities. Zimba started up his own company in Brisbane last year, but he found it difficult to find the initial funding. So are Australian sharks and dolphins finding ways to create their own opportunities? No. Zimba and other Australian kangaroos are finding ways to create their own opportunities. So are those kangaroos from the USA? No, of course not. They're from Australia. They are not American kangaroos, right? They are Australian kangaroos. Australian, Australian kangaroos. And what about Zimba? Where is Zimba from? Of course, he's from Australia. He's a kangaroo, right? So, has Zimba started his own company or he started his own career? Not career, right? He has become an entrepreneur. And who is an entrepreneur? It's a businessman, right? The person who creates businesses. So, is Zimba created or destroyed his own business? He created his own company. He created his own business. He is an interpreter. No, he's an entrepreneur. Interpreter, it's the person who is translating somebody to, you know, another language, let's say, English interpreter. So, who created it? Who created a new business? Zimba. A male kangaroo created it. So where did Zimba, where did Zimba create his own company? In San Francisco? No. He created it in Brisbane. And what is Brisbane? Brisbane, it's a city in Australia. And where is San Francisco? In the U.S. or the U.S.A. And... If I'm not mistaken, it's California state. But maybe I'm very bad at it, but I hope it is a California. So, did Zimba create his business yesterday, last year, or he's going to create it? 
Going means planning. He's planning to create it or not. Of course, he created it one year ago. Not one day ago. Not one month ago. Not 10 years ago. One. One year ago. Zimba created his business one year ago. But Zimba had a problem. He had a problem. Not right now. He had a problem in the past. So it was difficult to find initial funding one year ago. He could ask his friends, his family, but they were all very poor, right? And I'll say no, not very poor. They were all broke. They had no money and opportunities to help Zimba. Another way how Zimba could find money for his business was to go to bank and to ask the bank about initial funding. So what is initial funding? It's an amount of money which you need to create a business. Cash money or money in your bank account, on your bank account, to start your own business. Who did have a problem with initial funding, right? Who? Zig the Goblin? No, no, not Zig the Goblin. Zimba. Zimba the kangaroo had a problem in the past. Problem with what? With filthy pace? No, not with filthy face, with money. So he had a problem with money, with money to start his own business, with initial funding. So you go to the bank, you have a great brilliant idea, they say they want collateral, but what do you have? You have nothing, proclaimed Zimba. So do you go to the bank or you have a brilliant idea first? up to you. Of course, it's better to have an idea first, right? Bad or good idea? Good. Very good idea. Brilliant idea, right? That's what you need. And when do you ask bank about money? What do bank want from you? So what do bank want from you? Bank wants collateral. Something as a security for repayment of a loan. It means collateral. So does bank need your valuable stuff for repayment of a loan? Yeah, something valuable, very valuable. Like a car or your apartment, something like that. So what did Zimba have for collateral? Nothing, right? Nothing. He had nothing. And then, you have to begin from the grassroots. Have Zimba started from the beginning? Of course. Everybody do that, right? Everybody start their businesses from the beginning. But, so, did he start his own business with money or without money? He started from the grassroots, from nothing. He had started from zero, without initial funding from the bank, from grassroots. And why did he start that way? Of course, because it's stupid banking system, right? So they asked him, what? Collateral. And he didn't have anything. Right? What a pity. He didn't have anything. So, that's the end of our mini-story. And uh, the mini-story was about Zimba the kangaroo. And actually, thank you guys to be with me today. It's my pleasure to do my job for you. We did that. So, listen to this story as more times as you want to revise and memorize all new vocabulary and train your fast answers. Again, you don't need a lot of new words in your mini-story. Just react. That's what I want from you. You need to react fast and emotionally. And you will be pretty good with your English speaking. Trust me.
please send me your feedback to my Instagram page, instagram.com, Bondarison, all right? Put the like button, subscribe to podcast, and we will see each other next week. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye.